There are many reasons that you might pump breast milk and store it to bottle feed your baby. Some of these might include returning to work, traveling, having your partner help with feeding, experiencing swollen breasts, or just needing a break. Whatever the reason for pumping and storing breast milk, be sure to consider a few steps to keep your baby safe. There are a few different methods for expressing milk, which includes hand expressing, hand pumps, and electrical pumps. Some women express their milk into a container by massaging it from their breasts. This is called hand expressing. Some women may want to use a hand pump. These are hand powered devices that operate with a pumping mechanism that fixes to your nipple. Finally, electrical pumps simulate the pump action of a hand pump through mechanical action, but are battery or electrically powered. Whichever method you choose, it's important to practice basic hygiene. Keep in mind that your baby's immune system is developing, so you must be diligent with cleaning and sanitising any pump parts that come into contact with your milk. Milk residue that remains can become a breeding ground for bacteria. Air drying of pump parts is preferable to drying with a tea towel. These can impart food residue and bacteria. And always remember to wash your hands with warm water and soap before pumping. Milk can be stored in a variety of ways depending on your needs and availability of appliances. There are several things to keep in mind when storing your breast milk for later feeding. For fresh milk, you can leave breast milk out at room temperature for up to four hours. Chilled milk that is stored in the fridge will keep for up to four days. If you choose to freeze your milk and thaw it out later, then you must freeze immediately after pumping and not after being in the fridge. Be sure to thaw it in cool or warm water for use. You can store frozen milk for two weeks in a freezer compartment within a fridge, up to three months in a freezer within a separate door compartment, and up to six months in a deep freezer. Never refreeze thawed milk, and always discard milk your baby has fed from. Don't microwave breast milk, as this can destroy some of its proteins and nutrients. It can also create hot zones within the milk that can burn your baby's mouth. Instead, to warm milk, place it within its container in a bowl or pot of warm water. Test that the milk is lukewarm before giving it to your baby. It's a good idea to write or label the date the milk was expressed on each container to help keep track of your milk. Remember to swirl, don't shake, to mix the fat and protein with the water content. You don't have to use a bottle to feed your baby, but a cup or spoon will do too. Also, you don't have to buy a pump, you can hire them. The Australian Breastfeeding Association hires out pumps, as do some pharmacies and hospitals.